so much. And if we'd have been in school right now, we would still be doing our growing topic and we would be doing some amazing painting and artwork. So we had a chat today and we decided that we were going to have a painting competition. But we're not just going to do any drawing and painting, we're going to have a go at painting in the style of Vincent van Gogh. Who's that? Well, he is this famous artist that we were going to think about because he does the most amazing pictures of sunflowers that look a bit like this. Oh, Can no. you see it, everybody? Pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Now, in school, we've been thinking about looking really closely, haven't we, boys and girls? And when we've been looking really closely, you can really see some amazing detail. Hmm. So we're going to have a go at doing a picture looking really closely at a sunflower, just like Vincent van Gogh. Can you see it? Look carefully at the shapes of the petals. Look carefully at all the different colours. That's what we're going to have a go at today, OK? Now, I need to tell you something about Vincent. <clears throat> because he was a famous artist that lived many, many, many years ago. And he was Dutch. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't. So he was Dutch. And in his paintings, he liked to paint using colour to really express how he was feeling. So today, when we paint our sunflowers, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling quite happy today. Me too. Sun shining. Yeah, sun shining. I can hear the birds, can yeah. you? There they are. So I'm going to use some really happy colours when I do my sunflower picture today. Sounds perfect. So, Miss Petty, you're in charge of the resources. Right. Who's going to use On what? the craft trolley today, we've got... Look at that. <gasps> Me, me. Oh. Would you like those? I'll put those, those there for you, Thank Mrs. You. Lockwood. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, and you need some paper. Uh, there paper. we go. Papier. Mr. Cook, oh, you need some paper. Eh bon, c'est la bonne et écoutez, j'habite. And I am going to have a go with just some odd tissue bits. Now, you guys can use whatever you have at home. Have a look around, see what you can find. Mrs Lockwood is using some pens. You can use crayons, colouring pencils, whatever you've got. Right. Okay. Okay. I need Are to we have ready a to get look. started then? Okay. Okay. We're going to look really carefully at the shape of the middle of the sunflower. Now, shall I do a really small one? Here. Oh, Mrs Lockwood. Oh. The sunflower isn't teeny tiny. So I'm going to try and do really big. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's got a round Don't forget to look at the shape, shape of the petals. Oh, yes. That's going to be the middle of my sunflower. And it's kind of a yellowy orange, so I'm going to try and mix the two together to make my petal shape. How are you doing, Mr Cook? Uh, et la bonbon est dans la garden, mama et cuisine. Oh dear. Right. Oh Let's yes, look. Oh, that one's going I a different direction. Sure, I'm going to put my seeds so that they're all stuck together because in the picture, oh, can yeah. you see they're all packed in really tightly? They are, aren't they? Oh, there oh, we go. It's I a like bit that. of shading in the middle. It's a bit darker. It's a bit more orange in the middle of the sunflower. Oh yes. Wow, I think Mrs. Is... Riley's going to love this, don't you? I do too. I think she's going to love it. Thanks, Mr. Riley, for the art shirts. Thanks. Oh no! Thanks, Mrs. Riley, for oh, the blouse. No. <laughs> Maybe outside isn't such a good idea. Do you want to share my colours? Thank you. Oh, I love your two colours you've used Thank on your you. petals. Some of the petals are really big and some of them are quite small. So that's a good idea for the middle. Yeah, there's my seeds I in the middle. I haven't started my middle yet. I'm going to have to do that in a minute. How's yours coming along, Mr. Kirk? Uh, le bonbon est dans le uh, 
chocolat et petit point. Jabby Gospel. Right, um, I'm going to go for a yellow because if you look at the sunflower on the outside of the petals, it's kind of yellowish. Mm. And then what Mrs. I'm going to do similar to Mrs. Lockwood. She's chosen an, an orange for the middle. I love that. Kind of like a, a leaf shape, isn't it? It tastes like mm. a leaf shape almost, isn't it? Those yeah. petals are really interesting. Now you could do a picture of a sunflower, or you could choose any flower that you spot on your one walk. That's a great idea. We've had some lovely pictures on our tapestry, haven't we, of the boys we and have. girls taking their pictures outside. Some beautiful blossom. I really love the ducks. Do you remember seeing all of Toby's photos as well? He took pictures of lots of different types of blossom and flowers. I didn't know oh, that. gone quiet that's a sign of concentrating boys and girls we're all concentrating yeah. okay. oh mr cook's using some chalk now oh yours looks really beautiful uh, messy vocal well we haven't actually seen yours yet mr cook mrs petty was talking about mine yeah. very beautiful right mine's done you're finished? Yeah, I'm all finished. Good job. Don't forget to sign it because a real artist <gasps> always signs yes! their work. This is pretty uh, Mrs. Lockwood, mm, uh, uh, mm, amateur, mm, mm, mm. amateurs, <laughs> Monsieur Cook, a uh, professional. Right. There we go, boys and girls. There's my sunflower picture. What do we think? Looking forward to seeing all of yours. Oh, wow! Yeah, we can tell who the artists are, can't that we? The middle bit is a bit tricky, isn't it? It is really tricky. It's so big. I think I'm going to do actually, a layer. Actually, if you look at the picture, in within that circle, there are two different colours there are, as well. There. I'm just wondering if I can show that. I'm just going to do shading because it's going to take too long for me to draw all of the seeds. Now you could use crayons or oil pastels even, and then you could blend the colours together, which would be really nice. Oh, some children of our children might have paints at home. They might have paints. Paint, paint we would are be great wonderful. for colour mixing, aren't we? Hey, I wonder if I put some water. Let's go do an experiment. There we go. There's some water. I wonder if that would be a good idea with these felt-tip pens. Will it help to make the colour mix in? Oh, look at that. So even with felt-tip pens, you see how the colour is oh, mixing yeah. a bit. It's not a lot, but it might help it to blend in together. It'd be better with paint, wouldn't it? That's but definitely showing the shading though, You see the shading? Yeah, absolutely. And actually you could even try that with the orange and yellow. Look at that. That's quite good, isn't it? So you can just experiment to see what you can make it do. Quite like that. Oh, me too. That's lovely. See the ones that read that you've done that yeah. to, compared to the ones that you haven't. Just a little bit of water and a brush or some cotton wool. Gosh, I didn't even know that would do that with felt tip pens. Well, I didn't know, but I thought I'd try it out and see. I like experimenting. Hmm. And then when it's dry, you could draw the seeds yeah, on top. Yeah, it's a really lovely you. idea. But actually, if I use this pen when it's a bit damp. You see how it bleeds into the oh, yeah. water. That's very cool. So doing it while it's still a little bit wet, it's actually quite a good idea. Hmm. Oh yes, yeah, see the wet bits, it, it spreads much further. It's a bit like Mrs. Parker's idea with the rainbow. Yeah. Did you see that, boys and girls? She made a video about how to make a rainbow at home. You 
we'll have a go at that too. Oh, Monsieur Cook has gone very quiet. Uh, uh, Mr. Cook est dans la cuite et pomme de terre uh, chocolat. <laughs> pomme de terre, is that not chips? Potato, potato. apple potato, of the ground. Potato. 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 Mr. Cook is now doing a potato. And a pan of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and put a bit of water on the top. And then, doing a bit more shade. And how does that work? Oh, yes. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, isn't it? For putting yep. in a big space when you're trying to use felted pens. I'm not sure how well the felted pens will work after this, though. Mm. Could be any problem. Trying to make it a bit like paint. Yeah. Once your cook is finished. <gasps> finished. Finito. Turn it round then, Mr. Cook. Let's have a look. Ding, ding, ding. Wow! Wow! It's not just a pretty face, huh? What I did was I chalked using the yellow, then went over it with the orange, just subtly, just a little bit, and then I just used my finger to blend it in. Just around there. Just to give the illusion of two colours there. Wow, I think we all know who the winner is. It's not Mr Cook, is it? <laughs> well, I think the deciding casting vote should be with the camera crew. Or perhaps with the, the children. And the yeah. Let's oh, ask the children. I think so. so, on this video, make sure you like the video and share it. But in the comments, write down who you think is the winner of our art competition. So, Mrs. Petty, Mrs. Lockwood, or Mr. Cook.